Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today is October 26th, and that means day 299 of the 3DP 365 project. And on today's episode, we continue to print out really cool stuff for Halloween with these very cool minion goggles. So stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for day 299 of the 3DP 365 project. It's also day 26 of printing out really cool stuff for Halloween, and on today's episode, the Minion Goggles. And our print turned out awesome. I am very happy with the results. This is a very, very cool model. This is the new and improved version. The modeler had taken different Minion Goggle models that were posted up on Thingiverse, and brought them all together to improve his version. So these are his, and I'll put the link down in the description so you guys can download and print them yourself. And I actually scaled mine up to 105%, just a little bit larger, because when I measured it and my head and everything else, it just seemed like it was going to be a little bit too snug on my face. Because what you really need to do with these once you have them printed out is put a little bit of that uh, door molding, door insulation foam, the little thick black strips with adhesive back on one side, around the edges because it is PLA. So, or if you print it in ABS, it may be a little bit sharper. There are no sharp corners on here, but if you're printing these for your kids or something, you'll want some protection. And I personally think it actually needs it to really help complete the look because they really need to be kind of flush to the face. And as you can see, there is a little bit of a gap here, even at 105%. In 100%, I think they'd be a little bit too small. So I think this is the perfect size for my giant head. And I, like I said, they are scalable, and this model does print without support material because it prints flat on the print bed. There is a little bridging that will go on on the little strap holes, and you may need a little cleanup depending on your printer. But my GMAX did a stellar job on it. I don't have to clean up anything. We use some of this Matter Hackers Pro PLA Silver, and this is a really perfect color for these because they are supposed to be silver. And I won't finish them either because the print actually turned out perfect. I am super happy with the results. The seam is actually on the bottom, so you won't see it the way it was printed was actually with the nose piece facing the back of the printer. And I always put my seam in the back right hand corner of my prints. That way it's consistent. They're always facing forward. I always know where my seam is. So the seam will be on the bottom. The nose area fits really nice on my big nose and it'll be perfect for even for kids once you add the black foam to it. The print itself took about, I think it was about a five hour print. It's really not that long of a print. I did use a 0.2 millimeter layer height with four top layers, three bottom layers, and 15% infill because I wanted it to be a little bit durable, and three perimeters. I figured that was more than enough for this since it is a pretty strong model the way it sits. You might want to use a brim depending on your printer too because if it's a long print and because there's not a lot of material printing in here and there's a lot more here, you might get a little curvature shrinkage, which probably isn't a bad thing considering they are goggles and maybe a little bit of curve wouldn't hurt. It doesn't hurt definitely to have a little bit of warpage on this just so it curls a little bit but obviously you'd want a perfectly flat print. But like I said, the print itself, it turned out perfect. These are very, very cool. I'm thinking about doing a very subtle minion look with like a yellow shirt, and jeans, suspenders, these goggles, just some gloves and some work boots and just be kind of like minion in real life. So I, I was just a kind of an idea of just kind of be a subtle minion. And these would really sell it because this is the selling point of the minion costume is obviously these goggles. And I have seen a monocle version too, so you can get a single eye. It's a little bit bigger and it would definitely cover up your own eyes. And then, you know, obviously you'd be looking out the edges and you might cross your eyes trying to use that one. But these goggles are actually perfect for a Halloween costume. And I do have a little bit of Velcro here. It's not actually the right size. I have to get some, a little bit, it's not quite wide enough and the Velcro's in kind of a weird position. But it'll give you a chance to see what they look like on my head because they are kind of cool looking. So let me just rig this up real quick here. The prints, like I said, it's an easy print. The model, I'll put the link down in the description and it prints without support materials. So you won't have any problems with it. And it is a bit of a short print, so it's not gonna take very long. So let's go ahead and fit these on so you guys can see them on my head. And they are pretty silly looking on me, but I think they'll be pretty cool with my costume idea of just being kind of a, a subtle minion. So we'll put that on. It's probably gonna mess up my awesome hair. Let's just tuck that in there a little bit. Let's see if we can get this to work. There we go. It's a little weird on that side, but you get the idea. And we have ourselves some really cool minion goggles. 
And these will make a cool addition to my Halloween costume because they kind of round it off. Well, that about wraps it up for today. I hope you guys found this episode interesting. I'm going to wear these goggles through the clothes. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for more cool Halloween prints.